What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Swamp Village. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today guys, we are back with something that is completely different from my usual style of builds and something a little bit fantasy I suppose. So I posted this in the community tab on YouTube about a week or two ago, about, about a week and a half ago. And you guys went crazy in the comments asking for a t -t -t tutorial for it. So today we're going to build this block for block and guys I've got to say I really really like this style of build. It's completely different to what I usually build but I suppose that's why I've enjoyed it so much. Now it's a really cool little build. There's not a lot of room down the bottom but there is a decent amount of space at the top inside to build your base. We also have a little smoking chimney which I thought was a little bit of a weird one but it kind of fits. So. I'm really over the moon with this guys and I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial too. If you guys want to see more builds like this in the future be sure to hit that like button and also if you want to see more of the swamp build tutorials I've got tutorials for all three of these builds over here so be sure to check the playlist link out in the description. But for now guys let's go ahead and build this. Okay, for this build you're going to need a white block of your choice. Now I am using the white terracotta block, but in some texture packs the white terracotta is a little bit pink. So you might want to use the white concrete block instead, or maybe even the bone block depending on whether you're playing in survival or not. We're also going to be using some red concrete, some oak doors, oak planks, stairs, slabs, trap doors and buttons, some stripped oak logs, some birch fences, some clear plain glass panes or glass panes of your choice, it doesn't really matter. Some cobblestone, cobblestone stairs and slabs, cobblestone walls, and then just some blocks for decoration. So some note blocks, some barrels, some lanterns, maybe some flower pots, and then just some things like some leaves, tall grass and flowers of your choice to decorate the area. And that's about it. So with that being said, guys, let's build this. Okay guys, here is a layout of the floor plan. Now I'm using the new color coded system here. So as you can see, the red blocks are one block, the yellow blocks are three blocks and the blue blocks are five blocks. So I think this should make it a little bit more easier for you guys to see the layout. So if you want to pause the video for a minute just to get a screenshot or an idea of the layout, be sure to do that. But with that being said guys, let's go ahead and build this. Okay guys, we're going to start with the mushroom stem and we're going to start right at the front of it and we're going to place five of the white terracotta blocks in a row or the white block of your choice. Now, from this corner here, we're going to go up and to the left and place another one. Then we're going to go up and to the left and place one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go up and to the right, place one there. Up and to the right and place one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go down and to the right, place one. Down and to the right again, one, two, three, four, five. Down and to the left and place one there and that should complete a kind of circular shape at the bottom like this. Now we're going to go ahead and raise this by three blocks. So one, two, three on top, which should be four in total. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, once you're done, come round to the front again and right in the center here, just break two blocks out of the bottom here for a doorway, just so that we know that this is the front of the build. Now, on the front here, we're going to place three on top of this row here and then one in the center. So you should have a stepping shape up like this. We're going to do the same on all four sides. So three in the center and one on top. Three in the center, one on top three in the center and one on top. Now we're going to just come behind the back here and we're going to go a couple of blocks in the corners here. Okay, right where we've got this gap, just going to be temporary for the moment. And we'll do that on all four corners, just like this. And then we're going to raise it by one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Do the same for all four corners. And then we're just going to go ahead and break the blocks at the bottom of them, okay? Because they were just temporary. Just like this. Now, on the very top here, you just want to go one, two, one, two, one, two, and connect the two pillars together, okay? 
Do the same on all four sides, just connecting them pillars up so that we cover in the front. And we should now have something that looks a bit like this. Now from here, what we're going to do on all four sides here, we're going to go one, two, three in the center. Okay, we'll do that on all four sides. Three in the center, three in the center. And we're going to raise them by six more, making them seven in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to raise all of these ones that we just placed and do exactly the same. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. And now once you're done, just go ahead into these corners here where we've got the empty space, place a temporary block there, and then raise this one up until it is the same height as the top of the wall, and then just break that temporary one at the bottom. Do the same here. And then break that bottom one, and just do the same on the other two sides. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to just make a little bit of shape down on the ground here. So depending on where you've built this, you might just need to ignore this section. It uh, depends on where you've built it. So for me, I can see part of the ground here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across to the floor level. So there's the floor and we're going to come up to the first block. Okay. And on the right hand side here, place one block in the center, one at each side and one on top. And then underneath, because I can see the edge here, I'm going to place two layers of three like this. And then because I can see that bottom one, we're going to do the same. Now, where the first two blocks are, we're going to leave those. And then we're going to place one just there on the third one. And then the same on the very bottom like that. Do the same on this side. So one down here, leaving two blocks down and one here. Okay. And now because we can see them back ones there, we're going to replace those with some white terracotta blocks. And the same for these because they can see be seen. So you want it to look like it goes into the ground. Okay, that's looking good for this side. Now, if you wanted to, you could replace that one and also that one there as well, just to make it look a little bit more supported. And you could also replace those two there as well to make it look like it kind of goes around. So it's entirely up to you. Um, for here, I'm not going to do this one here because we've got the one on top there. So it might look a bit funny if we did. Now, round to the other side here on the left hand side, we're going to do the same thing. So on the first layer at the bottom here, place one in the center and one at each side, one on top. Then we're going to just break into the ground here a little bit because we can see the ground. Now, if your floor is this level all the way around, you don't need to worry about it. It's only because I can see this and that is why I'm doing it. Here, two blocks down, place one there. Then I'm going to place one in there because we can see it and also one in there. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go down any further because we don't need to because the rest of it is actually covered by the ground. OK, so we're going to leave it like that. If you really wanted to, you could place one in there just to sort of make it look the same as the other side there. But it's entirely up to you. OK, guys, now we're going to break out some windows. So let's start from the right hand side here. We're going to come to the right hand side of the build. We're going to break one window each side of this single block at the bottom here. OK. Then we're going to go up and where this single block is, we're going to leave a two block gap and then break one just there. OK, do the same on the left hand side of the build. So around here, we're going to break the two at the bottom and then come up where the single block here is. Leave a two block gap and break the third one. Now around the back of the build, all we're going to do is come down to the bottom at the center. So right in the middle, go up one block and then break the one to the left and one to the right. And then the one above those just like that. And as for the window, we're going to come around here. This will probably turn into a door, but we'll see what happens. So we've got the single block here above one, two block space, break the third one. And then finally round the front, right where we have the single block one, two and break that third one. Now we're going to do the same here for all four sides. So what we're going to do is place a block above the window and then one, two blocks above that one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six blocks above that one. Let's do the same on this side. So one, then two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Do the same for the other two sides. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, what we're going to quickly do here, guys, let's go to our red concrete. And we're going to place one on the tip of the beams here. We're going to do the same thing for all four sides. Okay, so place one on the tip and then go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one in the center and then four each side. So there'd be nine across here and do that on all four sides. So one, one, two, three, four this side and one, two, three, four this side. Do the same at the back and the other side. Okay, once you've got that done, what we're going to do is behind the corners here, we're going to place one temporary one and then place one two, break the back one, and then we're going to break place one there and place one there and break that one. Okay, so we go across and then we've got two and then one. On this corner here, place one there temporary, one two, break the back one, and then one just in there. Okay, and we'll do that on all four sides of the corners. So one here, one, two, break that one, one here and one here, break that one. One there, one, two, break that one, one there, one there, break that one. Down to the back. One, one, two, break the back one, 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 break that one. One, one, two, oops, one, two, break the back one. One and one and break that back one. Okay, last side two here then one two here then one okay that's perfect so now that we've got the perfect shape for the um for the actual mushroom that is going to fit in nicely so what we're going to do here is we're going to now go from the center point here we're going to place one here and then we're going to go one two three four place one in and we're going to come around this entire edge, making sure that we don't place any on top of any of the blocks we placed. Okay, so we just want to go around the edge of it like this. Okay. Now this time, if you want to, you can leave the corner blocks. It's up to you or you can break them out like this each time. So it's entirely up to you how you do it. It's probably easier to go around first with it rather than breaking them out as you go. But however you prefer. Just make sure you follow it and do not go onto the edge like here. You want to make sure you go around it, okay? Okay, that's looking good. Now, we're going to actually do... A little bit, it's going to probably be a little bit awkward doing this, so I don't know if you want to do it now or after, okay? But what we're going to want to do is, what we just done on that one, we want to do exactly the same underneath here. So underneath, as you can see our top row, basically we just want to extend it down. So bring a row underneath that one, and then we want to complete the same pattern underneath, okay? But we rather than... Rather than making it just this thing, we can actually fill that back piece there. It doesn't matter. So we can go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So just each one, just go around that you can see on that upper edge and bring it down one. On the white bit here, just place one. And then you just want to bring in down the two. Because the idea we want to do is we want to get a little lip. You see how we get that little inner lip all the way around? And that's what we want to do all the way around. Okay. So go around and get that all in. Just make sure you're bringing that top one just straight down, okay? Okay, that's looking good. Now, guys, what we're going to just do now is we're going to come to the outside here and we're going to just raise one, two on this edge, okay? One, two. And we just want to do that all the way around. Just making sure you raise the front edge of the outer one, like this, all the way around. 
because we basically want to have a free free block thickness for the actual um, for the actual mushroom cap itself. Okay, once you're done, you should you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, guys, I know it looks a little bit strange at the moment, but don't worry. You know, with the way we're doing it, we're doing it the way we are for a reason. Um, the reason we done we done a lip on the on the um, on the back before we place this one underneath is to give us a guide, and then we do this one at the top here because we now got a guide for the next level. So, for instance, here we just want to raise the inner edge, okay, again by two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and we go all the way around, raising it by two, okay. But we don't go there. We stay on that inner edge that we see of blocks there, so that we now get a little extra lip again going in, because now we're going to curve the mushroom over. So go all the way around, guys, and raise all of these ones here by two blocks. Okay, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. So now we're starting to see a bit of a shape of that mushroom. Now it does look a bit funny, and that's because we don't don't have any spots on it yet. We'll put the white spots in once we're done. But for now, we just want to complete the shape of the mushroom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just place a temporary block on any corner like this. So for me, it's going to be at the front on that little right-hand corner on the inside. Place one above it. Then we can just break that one for now. And then we're going to run one more row again all the way around on the inside like this. Again, coming around those corners like that. And we can always break them ones on the inside. We don't need those like that. Keeping it on the inside and breaking the corners that are not needed. And we're going to keep coming all the way around. Break the corner. And just do this all the way around, guys. Just make sure you don't place any blocks on top of the edge that we've just placed. Okay, we want to keep it just one block behind it all. Okay, that's looking good. Right, guys, now we're going to go up again. And this time, again, we're going to do exactly the same thing for the next there. So place a temporary block on the inside. Place a block above it. We can break that one. And again, we're going to run another level, another layer, all the way around the inside. Again, breaking those little corners because we're not going to need them in there. This one will come like triangled around like this. So we keep all of those. Break that one there again. And then just keep following that pattern all the way around. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, for this level, guys, because we are on the third one, we want to slightly bring it in. So what we're going to do is where we have the nine blocks across the front here, so this one is straight, break one off that corner like that and one off that corner there. And what we're going to do, place one underneath, one underneath, and then we're going to place one on that edge, one on that edge like that, okay? And then what we're going to do, break the corner one here, and place one in here and again on this side because we've got three here break that one there put the one there and we basically want to re repeat the same on all four sides so now we come around this side break the one on this side the one on this side place one underneath one underneath one against that one one against that one okay break this third one place one underneath now this side here we already done because that was part of that side so we're just going to continue our way around so let's come around here again to the four block, break one on the long lengths, place one underneath and then one against that one, one against that one. Break this corner one here because that one over there has already been done. Place one underneath, move around to the side, one on this end, one on this end, place one underneath against that block down there. Same on this side. Place one in there and one in there. And now we're back round to the front. 
So now you see it's curving in just a little bit more. And now we're going to do the final layer at the top. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to find the center block on the long bits at the front here. So now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to find the middle block, which would be this one here. Place a block like that for a moment. Then we can come behind it and place one there and break that one. Then we're going to go one, two on this side, one, two on this side. Then we're going to place one there, one there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go, how are we going to do this one? We're going to place one in that corner and one in that corner. Then we're going to place one here, bring two down. One here, bring two down. Okay. Now back again to this side, we're going to find the center one. Place one behind it and break that front one. Two at each side. One on the lower corner there where the gap is. One on the corner where the gap is. And then we're going to place one in this corner here. And then one on top. One, two. Then we can break the one underneath. One in this corner. Then we can go one, one, two. Break that one. This one here. Place one on it. And then go one, one, two. Okay. So I hope you're seeing the pattern now. So on this top layer here, we've got five, then two, then two, then five then two, and then there'll be two. So it'd be the same pattern, five, two, and two, okay? And then what'll happen is you'll end up with gaps on the little corners here, here, and here like this. Just make sure you fill them in on that next level. So let's continue our way around from here. So now we're gonna go place one underneath, and then we're gonna find the center block, place one there, break it, one, two, one, two, one on that lower piece, one in that corner, one on top, one this way. Then we're going to break that one, place one over here. Place one, two, break that one, and then one there. Then we've got one in the corner. And then we can go one in the center here. One, two. One, two. One in that corner. Then we can just place one there and come back. One, two. Now, I know that was a little bit awkward to follow, guys, so I hope that kind of makes sense. But basically, once you've got your five in place, all you've got to do is go diagonally back and do two, then do two going the opposite way there, and then you're onto your five like this. And then any holes that you may end up having, which will probably be these ones here, you just go ahead and place them like this on the inside to fill them gaps, okay? And now that we're at this level, this is our top level, so all we're going to do here is just from here is fill all of this roof in like so with our red terracotta fill it in all of the way and then that is the mushroom shape roughly in place Okay guys, right, that's the basic structure for the mushroom all in place. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come down underneath here. And as you can see, I've just thrown a few torches in just to make it a little bit lighter in here for you guys to see. So now what we're going to do, where we have these supports that connect at the top of the mushroom here, we're going to basically create a floor at this level. So go ahead and place in one, two, three, four, five across here, and then just fill the gap all the way around at this level. Because this is now going to be the roughly the roughly the floor level for you to work from. So go ahead all the way around and you just basically want to fill all of this in. Any gaps, make sure you don't miss it. And fill it with your white block of choice, whether it's the white terracotta or the white concrete or whatever you're using. Just make sure you fill all of this in like so. All right, guys, and um, once done, we can probably get rid of this top little layer here because this is going to actually be where the flooring is now. So let's go ahead and just break 
this one little layer here that we came up by one block too far. There we go, perfect. And this is going to be the flooring area for our top floor, which we will work on a little bit later on. All right, guys, now we're going to just make a little bit of a neater shape up here. So first of all, where we have these little supports here, we're going to place one here and then two like this. Do the same over here. Okay, so just like three, like a little triangle. And on this side here, we go one on one. Okay, do the same on all four sides. So one, two, three. This side here, one, two, three. Just like that. And then one and one. Same again here, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, one. And then finally around this side as well, one, two, three. Just like that. One, two, three. One and one. And it just gives a little bit of a better shape around the top there and kind of makes it feel a little bit more like a mushroom. All right, guys, now that we've got our top part of the mushroom in place, we're going to start working on the porch at the front. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to come over to the doorway, first of all, and we're going to break out a three by three block space. So basically, you just want to break a row around the door like this. OK. Then we're going to grab our stripped oak logs and we're going to break one, two, three, four on this side and then place our stripped oak logs going up. We can do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, and then just replace the four with the stripped oak logs. We're going to place three across the center like this. Then we're going to go one, two, three from the top on that one. One, two, three from the top on that one. And then we will have a three block gap and we can bring a log up here and a log up here. And that should leave us a three block gap in the middle. And we just want to go one, two, three across like so. Now, on the top bar, so the corner here, you want to place a log and then one in the center. And we also want to do the same at the back here. So one on every other block like this and also on this side down here. Then we're going to grab our oak stairs and we're going to put an upside down one underneath the logs where the pillar is. So like this. We're also going to place one at the bottom on those sides for the pillars. And then we're going to place an upside down one in the gaps. So place two there, two there, and then two on this side here. Then just go ahead, get your white terracotta or the white block of your choice. And then you just want to fill this gap in on the side, just like this. Do the same on this side round here. Make sure you fill the, the wall up in line with the pillars. Now here, we're going to grab our oak, stripped oak logs again. And in the ground here, we're going to break these three here and place three of them going across. And then the one block behind, we're going to place three on this side, three on this side, and then one above there for our doorway. Then all we're going to simply do here is place an oak log there, a upside down stair each side, and then we're going to grab our birch fence, place two in here and two in here. And then finally, we're just going to add a oak button on the front of all of the logs that are sticking out, all the other sides, and also on this side. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and get the red, the red concrete. And we're going to make the little roof for here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a row across here of five. And then a row across here of five. And then a row down here of five. And then what we're simply going to do here is just we're going to place one in that corner. One, two, three, four, five in front. One in that corner. Five in front of these ones. One there. And then five down this side and one in that corner. Then we're just going to place five on top of the first ones we placed. Five on top of this row that we placed. And then five around this edge. So we're getting a slight little bit of a curve now. And if we just go ahead, we can place one in each of the corners like this. And now we're going to go to the back wall. Place one here. Bring it up. Where we've got that corner one there, we're going to come around it. Bring it across and then just go all the way around like so, so that you don't touch any of them blocks underneath. 
And then all we're going to do now is just fill in the ceiling with our red, our red concrete, just like this. And there we go. That's the front all done. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put all the white spots on there in just a minute. But for the moment, we're just going to leave it like that. But we will come back to it and do all the detailing up in just a minute. Now we're going to work around the back here and get our balcony in place. So the first thing we're going to do here is where we have this win our windows here. We've got a, pan a sort of a bit down the side here. So we're going to break one, two, three, four and replace them with the oak logs or the strips oak logs. One, two, three, four on this side of the window and bring that up. And if you have any gaps like this and it goes down, it's probably a good idea just to make it look like it goes into the ground and this side should be fine. Down the bottom here, we're going to place a log sticking out on each one of these, okay? Now, if you take a look, there's one gap in between and I'm just going to quickly, while I'm here, I'm just going to quickly put in a little bit of um, a little bit of grass like that just to change the um, texture because for some reason here the um, overlay is coming on there and it just looks a little bit funny. Now I'm going to just place an upside down oak stair like this and then we're going to count here. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're going to go five, six on top and five, six on top making sure they all face the same way. Okay, right now we're going to go from here. We're going to go one, two three four and from this side here above the log there one two three four okay right in the middle one two three four okay perfect now we're gonna just grab the white block of our choice that we was using for the mushroom and we're gonna just place two of them in there like that above them we're gonna put some oak planks with two more oak planks in front and an upside down one at the very front there then I'm going to come around to this side here. We're going to place a log there and a log there. And we're going to break this block here. And for the moment, we're going to put a white terracotta just temporarily in there. And we're going to stick another log sticking out like this. And then replace this one here with a log like so. Now, do the same on this side around here. So we're going to place a log on top of that one log there. Leave a one block gap to this side. Place one there. Break that one and that one, and we'll place a log there. We can put the white terracotta on that one there, and then the log on the outside like this. That looks pretty good. And then two upside down stairs here. We've got our two on the front already, and then two on this side like so. Then on this corner here, let's put a stripped oak log there. Two on the corners like this, and then one back on this pillar here. Then we're going to put out birch fences across the, the edges like this, joining it up to make ourselves a nice little balcony. Break that one in the center there for our doorway. And then we're just going to get our oak trap doors and place them on top of the logs like this, just so that they blend in and just look a little bit nicer. Something like that. And then finally, we're going to grab our oak buttons and we're just going to place them on fronts of all of these logs. And to make it look a little bit more supported, we're going to get our, stair, our oak stairs. We're going to place one on each side like this, two in the center like that with one underneath. Okay, just to make it look a little bit stronger. And if you wanted to, you could also put a stair on this side and on this side. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to quickly grab myself some glass panes. So we're going to get some of those. And then what we're going to do here is we're literally just going to put two windows in here, two windows in there. Up the top here is going to be a doorway, but round the side here, we're going to put one window in there, one in these two down here. At the top underneath here, we're going to put a window in there, one in this side, two in here. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, right, so now we've got all of the structures and that all in place, it's time to kind of neaten everything up, make it all look a little bit nicer, get the spots in, organize the interior and stuff like that. So I think, first of all, the first thing we're going to do is let's finish off this little bit on the outside. So let's get ourselves some lanterns and some birch fences. So the lanterns, first of all, we're going to come under the inside edge here. 
And where we have this little ed the little tip here, okay, we're going to go one in. And we're going to place a lantern there on the middle. So we've got three that are here. Place one there. Do the same on all four sides because we'll have the same thing. And we just want the lantern right in the middle. Like this to create a little bit of light underneath here. Because it's a little bit dark. And this just kind of gives it a bit of a glow. And just overall just makes it look a little bit nicer. We're also going to just place a lantern in the corners here. So right in those little corners. And that's looking pretty good. Now the oak fence, I thought this was a pretty cool little idea guys. So what i done is I went ahead and where we've got this gap. So right, we've put the flooring in for our top floor, yeah? Basically, we want to go around the whole lot and place in some birch fences like this underneath. Okay? Just fill all of this gap in with the birch fences. Make sure you don't bring it down. You don't want it hanging down. You just want one layer all across like the ceiling edge here, okay? And what it does, it gives it um, it gives it that kind of effect. You know, underneath mushrooms, you have that kind of... I don't know how to explain it. They're like little kind of... Um, like little thin sliced areas. And when we do this, and we look from underneath down here, it almost, almost kind of gives that same kind of look as what you get underneath a mushroom. And I thought it looked pretty cool. So it's entirely up to you guys if you want to put all of these fences in. You haven't got to, of course. Um, but I think they look quite cool when they're all done. And it just gives a nice effect to the house. And a little bit of detail. So let's go ahead and we're going to do that underneath all four edges. So we've got this corner. We've got that corner over there we've just done. This corner here. And then these two around the back here. So we're going to go ahead and just fill all of those in. Okay, once that's all done, we are pretty much done with everything else on the outside. The only other thing left for the outside is to get some white spots on. So first of all, let's start with the little porch here. So for the porch here, I'm just going to use the white terracotta here. Use the white block of the choice it, that you want to use. Um, any white block will be perfectly fine. And what you want to do is actually just place a few random ones in on here. Now... We will make some bigger spots on the roof up there, but this roof down here is quite small. So down here, we're only going to use single blocks. And we're just going to place a few of them in, just like this, just to make, you know, just the odd little spot there that kind of looks nice and fits with the sides of the roof. Okay, the last thing we want to do is overpower the roof with some big spots, because it just won't look right. So for here, I think something like this is probably good enough. We don't need to really go any more than that. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Now, for the top half, we can go a little bit bigger. And because we're building with squares and stuff, I think it's better to keep the squares, the spots kind of square shaped. They tend to look a bit better. So, for here, what I like to do is on the sides here is do maybe a few four blocks, which is two by two, like this, okay? A few large ones. You can even do them on the bigger parts here. So, you could just do like two here and then do two right above it, like this. Okay, and I think you can get away with that. Then you want to go ahead and just throw in a few single ones as well. Again, you don't need to go too crazy here, but make sure they're kind of well dotted around. You want to kind of make sure that all of the sides and the little angled bits at the side here get a few on as well, just to kind of blend everything in and make it look, um, look like a mushroom. So you can blend some in the side like this, add a few down here. Again, down here, um, we want to make them pretty well spread out. So maybe one there. Um, I normally, this row at the very bottom here, I normally leave that all red. I don't put any spots on that very last row that's kind of uh, sunken back a little bit. I leave that as it is. So we're kind of going for something a bit like this. Don't forget to put some spots on the very top as well. So again, you want to place a few of your bigger spots. I normally put one. Kind of in the two opposite kind of corners, really. Something like that. And then maybe randomly, maybe one here. Something like that. And then, again, we're going to just go ahead and place a few 
sort of dots here and there. I try to make sure that they're not on the same rows, you know. I kind of try to move them about so that they end up looking random. Alright guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. And as you can see from the outside now, we're pretty much looking very nice. And I think this is pretty much done on the outside, other than a bit of decoration with some leaves and bushes and stuff like that. But the actual structure itself, I would say, is more or less done on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and go onto the inside. And first thing we're going to do here is we're going to put down a floor in. We're also going to need some, um, some doors. So we're going to grab an oak door. We're going to grab some oak slabs. And then we're going to grab a cup or a few oak logs for the moment. So first thing we can do, let's go onto the inside here. And just for a moment, we're going to just throw a few uh, lanterns just up on the side here. Just for the minute, they will be moved just to give us a little bit of light. And we're going to start by filling in ourselves a floor. So let's go ahead and replace all of the grass on the inside here with the flooring of your choice. I'm just going to use the oak planks, but you guys can use any floor that you wish. Okay, once your flooring is all in place, let's go into the little porch area here, right at the front. Let's place ourselves in a front door. So we've got a door in there. And then up above here, I think what we're going to just do is we're going to fill this in with our white terracotta or white block of our choice. Let's fill all around the edge like this. So we've got something like that. And then I think we're going to go ahead and because we've got this wall here, I think we're just going to bring this wall all the way down. If we can reach, there we go. And then I think I'm just going to cover that red up with two layers of the white terracotta to bring it down a little bit lower. And then I'm just going to place a lantern underneath like that just to give it a bit of light as we come in. And I think that will do for that little bit there. Okay, now, can we remove these? No, we can't. So do we can put that back there. Right, so now I want to get a doorway coming in up to this block here. This is going to be the um, the walkway out to the balcony. So let's head down here. And what we're going to do is, first of all, let's put three planks in here. And don't forget to put one in there where the doorway is going to go. Then we can go ahead and throw our oak door in there like that. Then I'm going to grab the oak log and I'm going to find the center block here. So if we left that one there, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So this one here would be the center. So let's go all the way down to the center point and bring this one up. Just like that. Let's re remove those and then I'm just going to throw that plank back in there like that. Now, I'm just going to raise the log all the way up until we reach the roof. Okay, so let's bring it all the way up. And we should be able to get all the way up to there. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm going to come down here and we're going to start because we're going to make a stairway, which is going to curve all the way around and up. But we want to make sure that we can get to this door here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place slabs at this height here. Okay. Then decide which side it is that you want to come down. So I'm going to bring the, the, the walkway, I think, from this side round, up like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start stepping this downwards. So I think I'm going to do one there, so we've got a straight bit there, and then we're going to go two stairs in here. We're then going to go in go one, two down there. Um, 
I think because this is a corner, I might just keep it, do two more like that. Then we're going to bring it down one, like this. Place one here temporarily, bring two more down here. And again, we're on the corner, so let's just make it a four. Then we're going to bring two down to here. One there, and then we're going to break that one after. Put four here because, we again, we're on a corner. Then we're going to go two. Two like that. And just keep bringing it down and round. And every time you get to the corner, you can make a kind of a bit of a square. Okay, so you get the four like that. And then we're going to go from there. We're actually going to change it up a little bit. So from here, we're going to break these two. So for at the bottom here, once you get to here, break it one there. And then you can go for a full block there and then a slab about here. Okay. So we'd be able to come in and walk around and up like this. Now we're just going to neaten this bit up. So let's get ourselves a, another log. And the log's going to go right here and join to that block up there. No. Nope. One next to it. Right there. Um, we're going to break that there. And we're just going to bring this log across and join to that wall. And then we're just going to put a full block in those two gaps there for the moment. Okay, so we have something that looks a little bit like this from the bottom going up. And this will take us up to the balcony. Okay. Now, I think because we've got the corner here, I'm just going to add that one block there and then two blocks there to finish that off. Two in there. And then this one here, I'm... I think we could probably just bring this one all the way down for the moment. And we might as well bring this one all the way down as well. Okay, so you're going to have not very much room underneath here, but it is still going to be usable. So we can come around here. And in this side here, I think we could go ahead, maybe use a beam across there with the white. Oops. And we can do something with this area that you want. You could put some candles, uh, not candles. Uh, you could put some lanterns, maybe a lantern down there like that. Um, you could put some bookshelves in here. You could put some anything you kind of that you want, any sort of useful items that you might want to make use of the space with. It's entirely up to you. For the moment, I'm just going to leave a lantern there for now. Let's break that one and that one for the moment. And if we go back downstairs... So we got that side done. On this side here, I'm just going to put three in against that gap there. And then what I'm going to do is grab my slabs and I'm just going to cover these ones here, okay? And then get the slabs and just go around the edge with the, with the one block like this. All the way around. Okay, so kind of just around that edge and it just creates a little bit of kind of um, a bit of shape to the ceiling. Now, in this edge here, I um, don't have to do anything with this or have to just fill it up with some planks. I think we might just do something like that. Maybe put one of those up there, a stair, like that, just for a little bit of shape. I think that looks all right. And again, guys, you're going to need a bit of light down here, so I would suggest um, maybe put in a lantern... Oh, we can't put one there because that's a half block. So down here, you could do something down here with this area. You've got a lot of areas to play with. I would go ahead and probably have a lan lantern. Oh, actually, that's an area there. We need to cover that. So let's bring our white blocks down by two blocks in this gap here and cover all of that. That's a bit better. That gives us a bit more sort of, of a shape to everything now. So place a block in there, maybe. What are we on here? So, yeah, we could could go ahead, break those two and put in a couple of upside down stairs if you want to make a little bit more shape down here. And you could probably fill this up with something again. So, for instance, I would probably go ahead, get some things like maybe some crafting tables. Um, what else might you use down here? Maybe some chests for some storage. Just any little bits that you might find useful. We can decorate with some flowers. Um, yeah, maybe a loom block might be handy. 
And then make sure you get a few flowers for your flower pots as well. I'm just going to grab some orange ones for a minute. So I'm going to just go maybe um, maybe a few little crafting benches down here like that. We'll put a lantern in that corner there. I'm going to change that one there with a loom. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, something like that. Just to, just to make a nice little area in that corner. And of course, you can decorate the rest of this room up as well. Again, doing something very similar to what you've done here. Maybe you could make a kitchen down here or a brewing area or something like that. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Maybe I'll do a bit of decoration at the end. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. Now, let's go ahead and finish up our stairway, which is going to lead all the way to the, the roof. So let me go ahead. We're going to go all the way up to here now. So now that we're here, we're going to come here and we've got the end of the slabs here. So let's put a slab by up by half a block and then round the corner like that. Then we're going to put in two here. We're going to put in one just there. We're going to put one on the bottom half of that window. I know it is a window there, guys, but it doesn't matter. It's not an issue. If it does bother you, you can always take it, break the window out and put in one of the, um, the white blocks. It's up to you. Then we're going to go up another step. And we're going to wrap around the corner for that one again. Up half a step. Again, we're going to go up and we're going to wrap it into the corner there. Half a stair up again. Half a stair up. Wrap it into the corner. And just keep on repeating that same pattern all the way around until we get to here. And we're finally at the top of the house. So I think up here... What I would probably do, you've got a few blocks of space here. I would go ahead myself, get in some oak, maybe some oak planks and fill the flooring in first of all. So I think let's go from about here, cover around this edge here. All the way around that edge and then just take it all the way out and fill all the rest of the flooring in with your planks. That way, you know, the flooring up here isn't going to be all white and you've got a nice bit of flooring in here to do a little bit of decorating and make the area look nice. Okay, right, once you're done and you've got that all in place, you just now want to make sure that you've got a way up to your landing. So let's go ahead here, let's put in another stair here, and then finally, one in that corner there. So now we should be able to come all the way up to the landing, and we should have no problems in going down either. Perfect. Okay. Now, it is a little bit dark on the way down here. So what you might want to do is find a spot where you can hang a lantern. Maybe on that one. Something like that. I think that's a pretty cool little spot. And maybe one somewhere down here. Maybe above the door there. And then again, we're going to find another one. Maybe in that corner there. Perfect, and we can get up and down with no problems. I'm going to just go ahead, and for now, down here, let's just put in some of these across here, just for the minute, and then we're going to just put a lantern in there, just to brighten it up in here. And there we go, that's pretty cool. So now that we've got our way all the way up to the balcony and all the way to the top, it's entirely up to you guys or what you really want to do up here. Um, but I'll give you a quick idea of what I would do. First of all, where your stairs are at the very top here, I would put some trapdoors like this. Um, I would also do... Um, how are we going to do this? Just do another trapdoor there. Then we're going to do three across here. On this side, we're going to face that one. So place one there. Three across here. Then... We might actually get away. Let's quickly try this. Let's put some slabs across there. Can we still get underneath? Yeah, there's plenty of room. And we can even get away with one there as well. 
even one there. So we can put the slabs in all the way up to there. So we can break that one just there. Let's put two of these in on this side. Now, if we open this one for a minute and this one, we can place one there temporary and crouch, place one on top, open it, break the bottom one. And then we've got something a little bit like that. And again, we can do the same around here. Let's place one there, crouch, place one on top, open the one on top, break that one underneath. And then I think I'm going to put a slab there as well, just to make that a little bit nicer as we come up the top there. Cool. Right, now I think here, because of the way the walls are, we're going to want to just fill this bottom piece in at least with some red of the uh, red concrete like this. So I'm going to go around, just fin bring the wall out. And in fact, to be honest, I think I may even just bring it out to this one here. Yeah, I'm going to bring it out so it's level with that way. That way the walls are all level because that will just bug me. But you guys haven't got to do it. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to do it like this. Now, you have got to bear in mind, guys, that you probably are going to end up with a few of the white spots showing through. And there's not much I can really do about that unless I added another layer on the inside. And I really don't want to have to do that. Because that will just really take away a lot of the space up here. So the best way to really be to do with that, to deal with that, will be to cover it with something like bookshelves or some kind of picture or something like that on the wall, just to kind of hide it out of the way. It would be the best way to really do it. But you shouldn't end up with too many because we are going to be covering most of these walls all up. So we want to have something like this basically all the way around, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just fill the rest of these walls in quickly just so we can cover everything all up like that. There we go. Perfect. Now, before we finish up, guys, there's a couple of things I did actually forget to do on the outside. One was the chimney. So now at the front here, this is the front here. So I want to go to the back, I think on the right hand corner here, I think is a good spot for the chimney. So what I've done here is I've done something a little bit different. What I've done is, so from the very corner over here, we've got two and two on the back corner. So what I would do is I'd go forward one to somewhere about here. And you want to do a shape like this, okay, with one block in the center. Place two more blocks on top of those, so we're about three blocks high. Then you want to get a stone brick stairs. You want to place one here, one here, and one here. Then what you want to do is actually place a stone, a solid stone brick on this side and place an upside down stair like that. Then one against that one, that one, and that one. And then you want to do the same pattern on the stairs. So one, two, three, and four. And then raise these up by maybe... Maybe three blocks as well. We'll go three again. Like that. Then on the top, I'm going to put cobblestone. I'm going to put a campfire right at the very top there. And then stone brick slabs like this. Just to make a little chimney like so. And then we get a really nice kind of looking effect. Now, like I said, guys, you could use cobblestone or any block of your choice to make the chimney. It's really entirely up to you. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. All right, guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, as you can see, guys, I changed the chimney out for some cobblestone just to show you guys what it looks like. And I think I actually prefer the cobblestone, to be honest. I think it looks a little bit nicer. Down at the bottom here, I've got myself in a pathway. I've made these little mushroom blocks out of a birch fence and a red mushroom block. Um, we've also added some never, uh, some never wall on some soul sand. We got some magma cubes and soul sand in the water to create some bubbles. Other than that, it's just a, a bunch of leaves and some flowers around just to make the area look nice and just to blend it in really with the swamp area. And overall, guys, I've got to say I am over the moon with this one. I really like the look of it. And it's something completely out of my usual style of builds. Now, if you guys would like to see more builds like this, 
please be sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. I post tutorials on most days of the week as often as I can. So if that's your sort of thing, be sure to consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out and I will catch you guys in the next one.